Hi, someone told me that they bought a piece of property in a nice place that they like, they were happy with the transition, but then, you know, what do you do with the land while you're holding it? It's a good question. So I'll share a few pointers today about what to do uh, with land that you're holding. You're watching Own Land in Kenya. I'm Solomon Wangwe. One of the first things I will recommend that you do with land that you're holding after you've bought it properly is to fence. Uh, it's one of the quickest way to increase the value of a property, especially in pre-developed parts of the country. One of the things that uh, fencing does is, for starters, give you security. You prevent squatters from invading your property or trespassers just, you know, passing through your property uh, without your knowledge. Of course, it helps if you have a security guard in place as well to make sure the fence does not get vandalized. Happens a lot, especially when you're a, what, what the government would call an absentee landowner. So you've bought a piece of land in, say, Amboseli, but you live in Nairobi. You might make it out there maybe once a month uh, just to check it out. So what, what's happening when you're not there? It helps if you have someone present to make sure that your fence is not tampered with. But it's also a great way to increase the value of your, of your property while you're waiting. Second thing I would recommend that you do is sort out the access. If, if there was no clean access to your property when you bought it, try and look into what you can do to improve the accessibility. Is it an all-weather road? Is it a maram road? Is it a dirt road that is impassable when it rains? All those things have an impact on your value, even while you wait. It also affects whether or not you can use the property while you're waiting. So if you can sort out the accessibility, clear bushes, uh, having a gate after you fence helps as well. Those are all important things. This uh, third thing I would recommend that you do is look into providing utilities to the property. Uh, so things like water or electricity. And you know, this is a challenge, a big challenge in, in pre-developed parts of the country, which is primarily where we ourselves in, invest. But these are great ways to increase the value of a property. And what does that mean exactly? You know, it's, uh, it's important to think about your return on investment when you're taking these interventions. You know, if you sort out the access to a property, for example, you can easily increase its value by anywhere from 3 to 5%. If you do a tarmac road or the government does a tarmac road right along your property, I mean, that number goes up exponentially. Uh, fencing, same thing, 5 to 10% of value increment just by that simple intervention. And same thing with power and water. All these things also help you ultimately to sell if you ever do choose to sell in the future because it's more desirable. I hope that information helps. If you have any more questions or comments about this kind of thing, feel free to let us know. Check out our website, www.goshenacquisitions.com. Uh, we also have a lot of good information about our property in Nanyuki, where we're selling one acre plots, only 500 meters from Laikipia's first championship golf course with amazing views of Mount Kenya. All the information is available online and all our social media platforms are up as well. I'm Solomon Wangwe, you're watching Own Land in Kenya. Stay tuned for more information on strategic land investment.